A crime alert tonight. A VSO detective tasked with investigating sex crimes now finding himself on the other side of the law. And he's accused of falsifying information and even threatening a victim. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live now at VSO headquarters for the details for us. Terrell. And this arrest especially concerning considering the types of crimes that this BSO deputy was investigated. Most of the people who reported crimes, he looked into sexual abuse uh, allegations. Well, tonight, that detective himself is in jail here in Fort Lauderdale, and he's charged with nine counts of official misconduct and one count of extortion. Detective Demetrius Campbell is a 21-year veteran of BSO, investigating sensitive sex crimes with a special victims unit. But the sworn deputy is accused of dropping the ball on multiple cases by allegedly lying about evidence and victim statements, even closing out sex crimes cases without a proper investigation. The situation came to light when a sexual battery victim called BSO to get a status update on her case. Campbell's supervisors then got involved after records revealed the case had been closed because the victim was uncooperative, something she adamantly denied. In another case, Detective Campbell, quote, reported that when making contact with the victim and her mother, she admitted to him that she lied and completely made everything up, crime unfounded. But after BSO's public corruption unit reopened and re-interviewed that witness, an investigator says, I asked if she provided Detective Campbell with that statement, and she said, no. And there are accusations of subtle threats against some victims. Campbell is accused of telling one woman, an illegal immigrant, quote, it doesn't make any sense to go any further with this case because nothing is going to come from it and not to use this as a tool to get a U visa. With nearly 100 cases that were assigned to Campbell, Sheriff Gregory Tony is now issuing this statement that says, I expect all BSO employees to serve with virtuous character and integrity. Failure to fully investigate such serious crimes is reprehensible and downright disgraceful. The public can rest assured all unfounded SVU cases investigate by Campbell will be reopened and thoroughly reviewed. And that number is 41, 41 cases that uh, Campbell investigated and labeled unfounded. Those are the cases that are now being reinvestigated. In the meantime, Campbell again here in jail. He is expected to appear before a judge sometime tomorrow. We are live in Fort Lauderdale tonight to Rough 1A, Local 10 News.